everyone here, Frank DeMora with the last uh, Chronicles of Planet Earth, the book that I wrote, a documentary that's leading many to Jesus Christ as they see that the end times are here and that God's warnings that he warned about are taking place all at the same time. Now, at the beginning of January, I gave you an update about the fish, the birds, and the animals dying. This is part and parcel for what the Lord had warned us in his word concerning uh, prophecy in the last days of what was going to happen to the birds, the fish, and the animals. And you'll see one of the many scriptures that the Lord warns us about there is Hosanna, Hosanna uh, chapter 4, verse 3, where it says, Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Now, this, as I said, is an update. Of we're in the 2013, and already we're starting to see mass kill-offs uh, of birds, fish, and animals. So what I'm going to do is briefly run through the ones that have just uh, been reported to give you a good understanding what's been happening. Now, here is the first one on January the 17th, 2013, dead fish, and you'll see this is in West uh, Java. Uh, on uh, the 17th and literally uh, thousands thousands of tons of dead fish were found uh, in, f following the torrential rains around the area and uh, this is just a massive massive uh, kill of fish so here we go let's go on to the next one and this one has to do as you can see by the update uh, red tide, the fish killed, reported at Saratoga beach, beaches. So I'll move this down a little bit. You, as you can see, the picture of these fish laying on the on the beach there. But it says, update: the countless dead fish washed ashore Thursday morning on west or southwest Florida shorelines, uh, including Siesta Beach or Public Beach, as red tide bloom moved northward causing respiratory problems for for beach goers and uh, eyesore for tourists vital to the region's economy now as far as the red tide is concerned i do have some more information in my book about the red tides and what kind of uh, devastation that it's causing and this is very interesting because when the red tides come in it does have uh, it looks like blood and when you read my book, you'll find all those scriptures where the Lord warned, warned us that the, uh, the seas were going to turn blood. So uh, we're seeing things that are running parallel with the scriptures, and this is what I wanted you uh, to see. Now, here's a very interesting one. This was on the 18th. This was, again, today's news. Uh, UFOs, excuse me, let me bring this up ufos blamed for millions of dead fish in japan it says plenty of fringe news outlets are reporting that an estimated 50 tons of dead fish have washed up on the shores of okinawa japan this week and while plenty of outlets are guessing that the cause of the mass death is due to something from a lack of oxygen in the water to low temperatures. There's dozens more claiming that the event was caused by chemicals released from a UFO that crashed in December. Now the millions of dead fish are said to be bleeding from the eyes and many covered with severe burns. So this, you know, this is really ominous news. And I don't believe to this point, they don't know what exactly what it caused it. But also in my, my book, in many of my posts, I've warned you that you're going to be listening uh, and hearing more news about UFOs and strains, sightings in the sky. And that also is happening along with the reports about the many fish that are dying. So let's go on to the next. And there you go. There's the article. And we'll just wait for that to pull up. It says, while, while heat stress is believed to be the more likely cause of death for more than 100 flying foxes, tests have confirmed at least one tissue sample was positive for the dead, deadly virus. Now, in my book, along with the many 
uh, reports about the birds, fish, and animals dying. I also give you statistics on the diseases that uh, are going around the world uh, from many years back and bringing that as current as well. But we're seeing a lot of information that viruses and different kind of diseases are starting to wipe out different species. And as you can see, this is one of those reports. So let me move on here to, again, this is, you know, the ominous uh, reporting. It looks ominous. It says the uh, animal apocalypse continues in Peru. Dolphins, fish, and pelicans found dead. And this is current. This is January 18th, 2013. It would seem that the animal apocalypse in Peru has continued in 2013 and throughout January, virus various animals have been washing up along the shores of Peru's northern coast and according to the Sea Institute in Peru 12 dolphins 35 sea lions and 13 pelicans have been found dead along the shores in San uh, Le Lambo Cuke. it appears that many of the dolphins found had uh, died several weeks prior to the discovery, but the government says that it has confirmed all the animals died from natural causes. The pelicans specifically appear to have died from starvation. Yeah, you know, when you start reading all of the reports that I've been reading, uh, it just doesn't make sense that uh, so many animals would be dying of starvation unless that the the natural habitat that they're living in is being changed and as you can see from all the reports that I've been compiling a lot of those reports say that there's a lack of oxygen so there may be truth in what they're saying but the fact of the matter is the animals the fish they're still dying and that's the bottom line that's what the Lord told us was going to happen now again here is another this is January the 18th, as you can see right here. It says, more dead fish washing up in Saratoga County. Officials say that winds and waves overnight Thursday pushed more dead fish onto nearly every beach in Saratoga County. Friday, crews are spread across the entire coastline doing what they can to pick up the debris, debris in what has already been a long week. So there you have some of the pictures there, and I'm, I'm going to play this for a second. Everything. Ashford University. The Sun Coast winds and waves overnight pushed dead fish onto nearly every beach in Sarasota County. Today, crews are spread across the entire coastline doing what they can to pick up the debris in what has already been a long week. 7 South News reporter Josh Taylor has the latest. It's a pretty big event today. Standing on Nokomis Beach Friday, Sarasota County Parks and Recreation Manager George Tadji is setting up every resource he has, a small army to pick up a massive amount of dead sea creatures. The cold front that came through has left a, a sizable amount of uh, large fish uh, on our beaches. By early morning, they've already scattered out the 30-plus miles of coastline in the county. On Minnesota Key, it's hand work by the county staff. On the North Beaches, it's mechanized work. And right here we have the uh, both county staff and the uh, uh, work offenders. Now we've been considering hiring outside contracted help. So many of the fish are a nuisance to health, safety, and to the almighty dollar. Many typical hot spots on a clear blue sky day, as empty as could be. It's not something that we we're, we want in our tourist locations, and we focus on our tourist uh, beaches first. Some visitors, like Joe Trisna from Chicago, say the shifting winds making breathing on the beach Friday not so bad. Yesterday was terrible. You couldn't breathe on the beach. You coughed and you sneezed and your eyes ran. But today is perfect uh, in that way anyway. Nearly unnoticeable if not for the fish. God, you have to get rid of them. From machine to hand. A tedious process with no definite end in sight. Alright, so there you go. Right from the news source. Now let's go on to the next one. And this one is, uh, it has to do with, uh, well, you see right here, the case is due to virus attack of bird flu, Asian, the Asian influenza. Uh, thousands of ducks uh, that have been uh, killed due to this influenza. So that's just another one of many of those reports. And so when we, again, when we go to, if you will, back to my, my site, 
Uh, you can look at all these reports and say that this is a coincidence, but just keep this in mind. What I'm showing you today with these reports is just a portion of what has been happening. And I've been keeping records of this the latter part of 2009, and it's just getting worse. The number of fish and the animals uh, and the birds that are dying is growing. And uh, so if you would like a full a view of what's taken place you can go to my book and download my book the last chronicles of planet earth today for free but just one other point before i close this is one of many prophecies that are being fulfilled in the same generation our generation and that's what jesus said to look for he said in matthew chapter 24 he said when you shall see all these things know that it's near even at the door and I'm warning you now that since all of the signs are here and there's only a few left before the tribulation begins, that means that the Lord has his hand on the door and he's ready to open up. And that means when that door opens up, he's going to come back and remove his church, those that are ready for him. And I'm play, praying that wherever you live on this planet, that you will have already received Christ as your Savior so that when he comes, he can lift you up and bring you into his kingdom. God bless you all. This is Frank DeMora reporting with, from the End Times Research Ministry. God bless.